So one of the most striking and clinically vital facts about postpartum hemorrhage is that the uterus itself is nature's tourniquet. After the placenta is delivered, the uterus must contract firmly to clamp up of the spiral arteries and supply the placenta. If this contraction doesn't happen, a condition we call uterine atony, bleeding can be torrential and the patient can lose a dangerous amount of blood within just minutes. This is the leading cause of maternal mortality worldwide, by the way, my beloveds. To put into perspective, a healthy woman can bleed to death from postpartum hemorrhage in less than two hours if it's not recognized and correctly managed. That's why obstetricians emphasize the four T's as the main cause. What is this four T? T first, T tone, tone, uterine anatomy. Next T, tissue, retained placenta. Third T, trauma, genital tract lacerations. And four T, thrombin, that is coagulation disorders. Among these, uterine anatomy alone accounts for about 70-80% of all cases, my beloveds. So management begins immediately with uterine massage to stimulate contraction and the use of uterotonic drugs such as oxytocin, ergometrine, ergometrine, I don't know how to correct uh, ergometrine, I suppose, uh, and misoprostol. Sorry, my pronunciation. Huh? If bleeding persists, additional interventions may include balloon tamponade, uterine artery embolization, or even, God forbid, huh, hysterectomy, no, hysterectomy in extreme cases, of course. So the clinical pearl for you as future doctors is this. When you think of postpartum hemorrhage, think time is not money. No, time is blood. Time is blood. Rapid recognition, immediate action, and teamwork are the only things with God, of course, that prevent tragedy. Okay? Remember, my beloveds, the contracting uterus is the body's natural defense. But if it fails, it's your responsibility to act as fast as, fast as possible. You know, dirt cleans off a lot easier Dirt cleans off a lot easier than blood. Okay? Stay blessed.